All right, guys, we got a 2004 Accord, and we got a squealing sound. Every time you turn the steering right left, ee, 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 we got a little bit of sound. Uh, it's an inner tie rod. I did replace the outer tie rod, so this is still in the warranty. So we're going to replace the outer tie rod, and we're going to replace the inner tie rod. But if you listen to the sound, you hear that? Listen to this really careful. Okay, the sound is there. It's coming from the inner joint of the tie rod. When it has a load on the car, you're sitting on the ground, it's squealing really bad from in here. We changed this tie rod. That didn't work out. We thought it was a ball joint. We did grease it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the inner tie rod. We take out a cotter pin and a 17 millimeter. We're going to bang right here. This is going to pop out. First, we're going to loosen this up. And then we're going to take off the boot from both sides. We do have strap ties. Usually, you have like a little metal clip, but we're going to cut the strap ties. Metal one, you could cut it too, but this one, since we already did it before previously, so let's remove this guy right here. Okay, so we're gonna loosen this up. This should be like a 45 minute job, no more than that, but you are gonna lose alignment after that. But we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the threads and we're gonna try to put it back in the same spot, but still, it's not gonna be perfect. Get alignment afterwards. So this is loose. You wanna loosen this before you bang this guy. Okay, so, um, what we're gonna do is, okay, this is already loose, already took out the bolt. I was gonna bang right here, and the tie rod is supposed to come out right here easily. And just like that, you hear that sound? You can hear right now better. All right, so I'm gonna come out. Okay, now we're gonna count the threads so we can put the alignment back in the same spot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, that's okay. Now, since we took out the tie rod, we're just gonna remove this nut from right here. We're probably gonna have a new one with a new tie rod. If it doesn't have it, we'll put this one back in. So this baby comes right off. Just like that. And then I'm gonna grab my uh, clip right here. And what we're gonna do is if you got a metal strap here, that's fine. Break that metal strap and get yourself some uh, strap ties. Put that on. So same thing here and same thing on the inside. And after that, your boot. Usually if your boot is completely ripped here, this is this is not a problem. Put a little bit of lube on the inner edge. But if your boot is really ripped and it usually they will break over time, all this thing will deteriorate. Replace another one. It's good to protect the inner rod of this, uh, what can I call this? Uh, the hydraulic shaft here. Anyways, now it's time for us to take out this tie rod. Okay, so inner tie rod, you can put a monkey wrench here, but you will try, uh, you will probably bend and try to damage the seal in there. So get yourself a special tool. I have no name for this guy. So this is a long little sleeve here. It goes inside there just like that, but it's hollow here. So it does come with like 10 of these. Can you point at that? We got a whole kit right there. So this is the kit. Uh, it's like a $90 kit. It comes with all these adapters right here. So let's see how these adapters work. And you can pick that up from eBay. That's where I got this from. So this is um, 5x16. This thing goes in here so it becomes like a little wrench. And then that little guy, the guy we just put in there, it goes right here. And But you have to, you have to get that on first. Make sure this is straight. Put my hand in the back. And we're gonna have to just find the perfect spot for it where it's gonna go. Once it grabs, we should be able to turn it. Okay, let me see. Sometimes these get bent and they won't go in, but this does go in just like that. Just wanted to make sure that works. Let's give it another attempt. There you go, perfect. Find a spot. Okay, so my friend here is gonna hold the light and the camera from here. Try to keep the camera so that you don't get that shadow. Try to keep the camera light in the front like this. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise. It's not gonna be easy, okay? But counterclockwise and your tie rod is gonna loosen up, okay? Very simple. Once you do a few turns, you should be able to turn it by hand. And once you turn it by hand a few times, you come closer. 
and this tie rod should come out. So that's how you're gonna, a lot of people put a monkey wrench. I've done that, that's fine too, but just make sure, that's fine. Just make sure um, you put your hand in the back, so give it some leverage so you're not just yanking and pulling and bending the shaft. So I got my tool off, and uh, what we're gonna do next is, oh, there goes the tie rod. So the tie rod has this little piece. If you don't have this new piece doesn't come with it, you gotta reuse the old one. You have this little shim here, leave that alone, leave that right there. And now we're gonna get the new pieces. Okay, so inner tire, outer tie rod ES80287. It is different on the opposite side. So inside you got a little package. You got a couple of bolts, nuts and bolts, and a fitting there for greasing down the road. Uh, there goes our boot. So these are pre-lubed. If you buy from um, Rock Auto and all that stuff, you're not gonna have lubrication in there and the tire rod's gonna be a little bit thinner. So try to get it from your local store. Moogie's the brand I always use. And we got an inner tie rod here. Our number, inner tie rod should be same right and left. EV80210, but make sure you check with your parts department. But they're usually the same because they're straight to the point. The other one's got curved. So inside the package, we got ourselves a tie rod, inner tie rod. It's already looped up, so you don't have to do nothing here. We also got a little package, inside of a package. It's gonna come with the hardware here. So we got ourselves another bolt. So we got the same bolt with the other uh, package and this package. So we're really gonna use one. I'll use this one here. And we got this little guy. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this little guy. We're gonna put a little bit of thread lock on this and we're gonna take it in there. Okay, so we got the tie rod here. Just to show you this tie rod, this little piece here, the other way has a small little uh, teeth sticking out. That goes into the housing there, but I'm gonna show you that. So a little bit of thread lock, red. Okay, it's okay, a lot of people tell me you're crazy, but uh, it's always better to be safe on the road so that thing doesn't come loose. So let's take a look in tight. So what we're gonna do here is, this little guy, the notches sit in the notches, so make sure that sits there properly. So you can even do it first. Just like that so that's gonna lie not to turn anymore and if you don't do that your tie rod is not gonna sit flush and it's gonna take me a moment you know to catch the threads here so I do catch the thread straight okay take your time don't rush it and once it's in there you can let go of the inner piece and once you're done tightening this you do need to bend these flaps a bit but I since I put thread lock on it even if I don't bend it I will bend it a bit but to lock it up, but anyway, that thread lock is the safety because I had bad things happen in the past. So the tool goes on it one more time. Uh, just make sure your tool fits on it nice and tight. It could be a little loose, but try to let's try to switch up a socket here. So according to your new uh, part, it could be a different thickness. So this is a one fourth that fits on it better. Then this little guy, you see how much free play is in that, but that was better on the other one. So this goes on. And then you take this little guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to hand tighten this. Give it a nice and snugness to it. That's it. That feels good. Okay, now what you want to do is we're gonna finish up the job, but do not drive the car for about two hours so the thread lock can dry up and hold this uh, spot and never move from there unless you need to take it apart again. All right, so these little guys, you have to bend them. Like I put a thread lock, if I can't get it, that's fine, but don't hit the shaft here, okay? Because if you hit the shaft, you will damage it. Plus, put your hand on it while you're bending it and give it small taps. But do not force it too much, and that's it. After that, we'll put the boot on. Okay, I want to say one thing. Okay, you see how we got the steering turn a bit? So if you do turn it to left, if you're working on the right side, your shaft here is going to come out, okay? So your boot might need to open up to go further. But it is going to help you when it comes to that. It's easy for you to work on. Other than that, you're going to be working in here. Anyways, other than that, okay, this strap tie here, usually uh, I'll get it on really easy. Uh, I got a little bit of leakage in here or whatever that is greasing i want to clean that up okay so i'm gonna push this on and i'm gonna pop the boot on we still got the strap tie on if it doesn't work out then i'm gonna put another strap tie on and 
but you do need to get the boot on properly and it snaps right in look at that it snapped right in there perfect and the second outer edge here has to sit right here can't go further than that and i'm gonna have to get since i broke this strap tie here i'm gonna have to get another one so let me do that okay we got ourselves a strap tie get yourself a good strap tie because i know some strap ties they break so go to home depot buy yourself a 20 dollar package and it's a nice and strong no matter how much i pull they won't break easy you've seen the other one that was there for years and cut off the tip bada bing bada boom okay one thing i want to mention when these guys do alignment they turn this back and forth the boot gets turned so if that happens just go underneath the vehicle after you get alignment this thing shouldn't be twisting and crunched out that's no good that means the bad mechanic there the guy don't care so all he has to do is hold this while he turns his but if you put a little bit of loop there that's fine anyways new bolt remember this was 18 and a half turns so we're gonna get our new tie rod here inside the package we have inside the package inside the package here we have cotter pin we got a fitting we got this bolt so they give us one bolt with each part and so this is all we're going to use i want to put this on here first so my boot this boot doesn't just keep falling and then once we put this on the cotter pin goes here anyways let's get this fitting on first because once it's on it's going to be hard for us to put on so get this fitting on so this is like an eight millimeter you could use a needle nose or a tweezer and turn this baby a few turns you're gonna have to go all the way in with the threads because you will damage it if you try that and this is how you're gonna grease this baby up every time you need to grease okay so no thread lock here because this is something that they need to take apart every time but once you tighten this bolt onto it it's gonna lock up and 18 and a half so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see where it grabs. So it already grabbed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember that eight? Okay. I thought it was the wrong tie rod. I'm gonna tell you why I thought about that. Okay, so it's eight. So if it's tear right say it's wrong because it's gonna hit the wheel here. But since it sits like that, this is correct. Okay, so eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and half a turn. Yep, there you go, it's perfect. So if you look, just to make sure you see you got one two three four threads and you got about three about three threads there so you can if you i'm gonna leave it there because i'm gonna buy the number sometimes it could be a little bit of a difference uh on the size of these but anyways the lineman will fix that like i told you it's not gonna be perfect so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this end of the rod in make sure that boot stays there and the boot is gonna get crunched up that's fine Okay, to sum it up, uh, we changed the inner tie rod, we put the lock, uh, we put this bolt on, we did the 18 and a half turns, we locked up the bottom here. So the last thing I want you to do is um, take the cotter pin and put the cotter pin in, and you have to fold the cotter pin just like that. So that gives it safety there for the bolts from turning back. And that's it. Make sure this is tight. Make sure the boot is on all the way on the inner and and the outer end make sure you put a strap tie and you're all done and set put the wheel on go for alignment